name's David Minto and I'm a progress sponsored athlete. I'm a BJJ purple belt under Steve Campbell at Stealth BJJ Manchester. I'm a firefighter and I love Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I started training Brazilian Jiu Jitsu just over five years ago when a good friend of mine started training and said to me that I would love the rough and tumble side of the sport. I went to one class, had one private lesson with Steve Campbell and although at the time I was about 16 stone, big fit lad, he absolutely destroyed me and that was it, I was hooked. I just wanted to know how you could control someone with just pure technique and no strength. And here I am five years later, obsessed with the sport. I'd say I prefer playing on top, I love being on top. Um, a lot of people who I train with, we all have a similar game, we like being on top and smother, destroy with weight. However, I think in the club I'm probably now playing a, a bottom game a lot. I like to play a lot of open guard, lasso, stroke spider guard. Literally for months and months I was playing bottom, getting smashed by some of the big lads, especially at the club, but I stuck at it and stuck at it. And I feel, you know, I've got a decent open guard now and I think a lot of people in the club would say they know me for playing on bottom. But even then, my aim generally on bottom is sweep, get on top and then smash. My first ever competition, I've been training three months and myself and uh, another white belt called Jake, Jake Corrigan, we decided to enter the Bristol Open. We badgered and badgered Steve Campbell, if we won the whole competition would we get our blue belts? Steve humoured us saying for each match we won he'd give us a strike if we won our weight categories we'd get our blue belts. So we drove down one Friday night, checked into the hotel in Bristol after something like a three hour drive. Woke up the next morning nervous but excited. Went to the venue, I popped to the loo just around the time that Jake fought, came back and he was in an ambulance as he'd nearly broken his arm, not tapping in an arm bar. I proceeded to fight and tore my labrum and broke my shoulder in my first fight, which I just lost on points. Uh, after that, I had to have an operation, permanently got four anchors in my left shoulder, and I was off jiu-jitsu. The doctor said it should have been about four to six months. I was actually off for about just shy of three months. Came back, hooked more than ever. Competition success, well, I've competed um, in quite a few competitions locally in the Manchester scene. I'd say I medal in most competitions, but the bigger comps, um, as a white belt, I got silver in the British Open, no gi. Um, as a blue belt, I won the Europeans, a blue belt master, super heavy. Uh, this year I won the British Open at Purple Belt Adult Heavy um, and I've also recently, a couple of weeks ago, got silver at the Abu Dhabi Pro Trials in Portugal at Purple Belt Adult. The best feeling I had was probably winning the Europeans. It was, even now when I think back, it was like a dream. It's like it didn't happen. Just at the end, the feeling when the ref raised my hand and said, congratulations, well done. Best feeling, one of the best feelings in the world that I've ever had, apart from when my daughter was born, it's probably the next best feeling. I've been very lucky in the last five, five and a half years. I've rolled with uh, quite a lot of black belts, British black belts, Brazilian black belts and they've all got their own unique styles, they've all smashed me in their own way and they've all taught me something. I think the one that sticks in my mind the most, this year I was lucky enough to um, train and roll with Michael Lange when he came over and he absolutely smashed me. It was unbelievable but pure technique which really impressed me. But the other thing I loved was at the end of the class he sat with me for 20 minutes and just went over a couple of basic things he felt would improve my lasso guard which have improved it subsequently and uh, 
just such a nice, humble person. Twenty fourteen is going to be a busy year. Uh, as a sponsored athlete now, um, I'm planning to go to the Europeans in January, hopefully. Uh, later in the year, there's a few of us from Stealth BJJ who are planning a trip to Brazil. Six to eight of us, hoping to go three to four weeks and compete out there, train out there, learn more, develop more as a person. Um, my plans for the future really in Jiu Jitsu are Obviously everybody aims to be a black belt, but I just want to be the best black belt I can be. I'm probably never going to be a world champion, but I just want to be the best I can be. There's a lot of people out there who are very good, and, you know, very high level, who maybe aren't famous, and I want to be one of those. I want to be the best brown belt, the best purple belt, the best black belt I can be, and that's my aim.